Well, hello there, YouTubers. Welcome back to another episode of Sky1007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the JMDJL pocket radio. So it is a digital radio that has the option of uh, AM, FM. You can listen to music from the SD card right here. And... Um, Presumably, you can also listen to music from your phone via a um, cable like this. So let's turn it on and let's see the. Let's first see the radio. See how that works. So it's turning on, and now let's, if you press the M, it'll go to the radio. So let's adjust the volume. So it does have a uh, antenna that only moves from left to right, but not back and front, which is okay. Okay, so it's fairly easy to use. You have this um, uh, next station and previous station, or I should say previous and next station. These two buttons right here. But what makes this um, phone unique is that it has this, num this number uh, pad right here. So, for example, if you want to go to station 106.3, you just click 1063. And it'll go to that station. So let's go to AM. So you press the mode button again. And now we're on AM. So if you want to go to station number 1044, you go 1044. So it'll go to station 1044 AM. So it does not have short wave. And the next uh, mode. The next mode right here is line. Now I have already done a test with line where you listen to music from your phone through that speaker. Let's um, close the antenna. But that didn't work out for some reason. So you connect it here and you connect it to the line. And then you look for your music. I'll play this music right here. So right now it's playing at maximum volume. And I'm going to increase the volume here. And there's nothing. So the line doesn't work for some reason. I don't know if all of the radios have the same problem or it's just mine. And if you're uh, thinking that maybe this is just to listen, uh, to put your headphones and listen to music. No, that's not the case. I already tried that using headphones. I tried different cables. Different, uh, just in case this cable was broken or damaged. But no, it doesn't work with any cable. So let's forget about line because that doesn't work. So the last thing I want to test is the SD card. The SD card slot is right here. So it's a, uh, it has a two stage push function so when you put it like that it kind of sticks out you have to push it all the way in and it hides all the way in and now that the SD card is in there you just press the mode button over here to find the SD there we go and here's our music Let's listen to the next track.
Okay, so as you can see, um, it has a very, well, you probably can't see it or hear it through YouTube, but it does have a very nice sound. That's one of the reasons why I decided to um, do a review on this, because the sound was surprisingly good. Um, the battery is rechargeable. You probably know that already. <coughs> And it holds a very good charge. Um, it, it's um, very nice. <coughs> okay, take two. Oh, it does have a LED light. Let me turn off the lights. So if you press this button right here, the one that says LED, the LED turns on. But you have to hold the button like that for the LED to stay on. If you let go, it turns off. So it's kind of awkward that you have to keep holding it. But I did go camping with it and it was nice to have um, radio. I had my pre-recorded music in it and I actually did have a flashlight. So for camping, this is great. Let's turn it off. Once you turn it off, everything stops working except the flashlight. Flashlight will continue to work. So that's fairly good. And if you look at the battery in the back, let me turn on the lights. If you pull this out, this is your rechargeable battery. Let's pull it out all the way. So it's kind of like those old phones um, from the from 10 years ago. Those little phones that used to have these type of batteries. So this is basically the rechargeable battery. So you could theoretically find this is the BL5C. That was a very popular phone battery. So you can still find it if you want. And you can bring, if you go camping, you can bring spare batteries. I'm not going to do that, but um, you can if you want. So it's a lot more uh, practical than having those uh, AA or AAA batteries because these are flats. So you can stack them. So let's um, put the cover back on. And I don't think there's anything else I have to say about this. It has a, uh, what is it called? A little holder like that. If you want to carry it like that. It does have this right here. So if you put it like that, you can do that. I mean... I never use it like that. But I think it would have been easier if they would have made this flat. So it would stay. It would hold up. That would have been a better idea than having to use this. But it's still good. I'm not complaining too much. And the only thing that I have left to say is that... um then there's a newer model coming out where it actually allows you to you can connect through bluetooth and you can answer the the phones using this key right here so this is the older model so if you go online um you'll see the newer model and let's check it out right now and after we check it out on the amazon page let's go outside let's go outside and um see how it looks outside so let's go to amazon so if you go on Amazon, you're going to see that it's still here, but this is the update, the, the upgrade. So it's the newer version that you have on Amazon, which is this blue purple one right here. It's um, listed as JMDJL, so that's easy to remember. So let's click on it. And you have several colors. Um, although this seller only has two of them, so let's look at the red one. And you're going to see how the new version of this radio looks like. So instead of on, on the top right, you're going to see that it has a, a, a answer button. Well, I can't show it because I can't zoom in, but right there.
but it's about the same price so that's still good so it's still on sale if you still want it and you have those two options the red one or the black one or the purple one which is not the black one is not shown here okay guys so we are back we're back from Amazon and um, I did want to show you this that I, I went camping recently and I got this for free I'll probably review it later but it's no big no big deal but a uh, very good I got that for free and um, I had this like that so while I was camping I did get some flowers and they're already dying out as you can see it's kind of sad but I did get this while I was camping so yeah that looks nice it's very convenient and it does have that flashlight so overall I would give it a even though the line function didn't work I still give it a five stars out of five because I don't think anybody seriously needs to use this as a like a external speaker and connect it using a wire uh, all the way to your phone that doesn't seem logical or practical at least but everything else works I don't need that Bluetooth function although the new version of this does have Bluetooth so um, I just mainly need the radio the flashlight and the SD card function and that flashlight is very very nice especially when you go outside so this is definitely something that they uh, designed for you to go outside so I'll give it a five stars out of five and thank you for watching subscribe and thumbs up